bottles. I hate them. I hate people that have reusable water bottles. I hate. In, there's nothing worse than enthusiastic water drinkers. There's nothing worse than people who make water drinking into some kind of workout that, you know, the person that eats fucking 17 donuts, 18 Kinder Buenos, but suddenly has a bottle of water next to them and keeps sipping on it as if that's going to, you know, alleviate some of the stresses that they're causing to their livers, arteries, and their cholesterol levels with all the um, amount of, you know, artificial flavorings and, you know, stupid sugars that they ingest in their bodies. It gets to my nerves. It gets to my nerves. But it's also interesting. Um, trend that's happening at the moment where people are you know going out of their way to buy the reusable water bottles in order to kind of I don't know carry water around with them so they're kind of saving the environment not buying plastic bottled water like malarkey but I drink so much water day in day out I don't need to carry this sort of shit with me I don't need another thing that in my position I don't need to carry around a fucking bottle around me you've got already a massive smartphone in your skinny jeans I've got my big wallet full of massive massive cash because I'm rich and I'm famous and I don't want to be having this fucking water bottle on the side of my hand gripping it as I'm walking down the street and imagine losing a water bottle that cost you 25 quid that's annoying that's a that's annoying and i'm pretty sure if these things are desirable accessories as it says here in a, in a high snow by a um, article if they're if they're desirable accessories or cool accessories there's probably going to be people on the other end who want to take your cool accessory without paying for it i.e thieves i.e um people that you know don't have any money i.e fucking scumbags right there's pretty sure there's a big market for black mar imagine there's a big market for black market reusable water bottles how skanky do you have to be to buy a used reward water bottle that's madness isn't it to save what a couple of quid and probably people would want to do that people want to do that this is amazing so this article from the house of buy this is a reusable water bottle is the coolest accessory you ever buy like come on really really cool accessory of course Okay, so here we go. Um, everyone knows plastic bottles and paper cups are bad. Does do they though? Do they know that? I don't think everyone knows that. I think some people are pushing this agenda onto us, but we don't. Everyone knows this. But that doesn't uh, make eradicating them from your daily life easy. Whether buying water at the gym or picking up a morning coffee, more urban life feels more impossible to navigate without damaging the planet long term. If only there was a some kind of solution. Environmental campaigners have been urging people to invest in reusable bottles for ages. We produce more waste than the planet is handle. Almost too logical way to do it to fair for context america purchases 50 billion plastic bottle water bottles a year Gee, that's a lot of water bottles isn't it fair enough maybe these things have, have a use averaging 13 bottles per month for everyone in the u.s so by using a reusable bottle you as an individual could save an average of 156 bottles annually that's pretty cool to dole out a much bastardized word a reusable was a huge reusable water bottle is a sustainable choice but if saving the world isn't enough incentive to start using a reusable bottle perhaps you'll be swayed by the fact that they're now wait for it um a bona fide fashion accessory environmentalists have been championing the cause for ages but now reusable bottles are cool so imagine being environmentalist imagine actually caring about the planet going out your way to attend these rallies going to conferences where no one cared and now the only reason why people care about reusable bottles because they're cool because you want to be posted up on instagram with you crossing your legs um looking out onto the sunset um doing some weird pose jumping up into a star sign wherever it may be being a visco guy or girl and drinking your water but that's the reason why people are using it not because of your message not because of the environmental benefits but because it's cool how annoying man that must that be if you're an environmentalist you must be so sick to your stomach it must be such a weird comforted place to be and you've got a lot of people now using reusable bottles and saving over 150 bottles per year of plastic but then also they're only doing it for the image oh my god exhibit a jonah hill who has been sulking around again is it jonah hill not the most you know uh, what the most healthy looking dude in the world bit overweight but he drinks a lot of water example example yeah exhibit a for me right i, I, I don't think i've met anyone that pfft, Everyone I've met that's an excessive drink of water is, you know, morbidly obese for the most part, right? There's no one I've met who's an excessive drink of water, has a bottle in their hand, who's kind of fit. Most of the time, it's always the kind of overweight person that has to compensate for the fact that they went out to Pret-a-Manger and bought a fucking, you know, macaroni and cheese, uh, um, you know, pasta bake or some shit and a baguette and a sandwich and a couple of brownies, right? And they're offsetting with a bottle of water. It's like, come on, really? Really? You can't offset shit. Or people that walk to, or people that force you to walk, no, people that kind of say you should, or no, people that work who kind of scoff at you when you try and get in the lift, right? They're like, oh, you get to a couple of work. No, this stairs aren't my workout. I go to the gym every day for an hour, or I go running in the morning five miles and more, or three miles and more. I don't need to walk the stairs in order to kind of get my exercise. I do my exercise before work or after work, at lunch, whatever. I work out. I don't need to offset my um, lack of working out by walking up some stairs. What's that going to do? It's locomotion. It's not working out. Like, what the fuck is this? Anyway, Jonah Hill, who has been sulking around Soho, 
Clutching the absolute unit that is a 64 ounce half gallon hydro fast, which he has customized with stickers as if it were a skate deck or a MacBook. Given his relationship with the all birds growing climate champ Leonardo DiCaprio, Hill is not now aware by this is so cringe. You must laugh yourself writing this, no? By now, the global warming is slowly obliterating the planet. I'm writing this article on 100 degree Fahrenheit heat in Barcelona for fuck's sake. But he also knows that the bottle adds a certain je ne sais quoi to his. I just rolled out of bed and still look cool as fuck aesthetic. Does he look cool though? I don't know if he looks cool, man. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, smoking cigarettes, but you got a bottle of gallon. That is that is essentially that is essentially the hypocrisy of people nowadays, right? In the picture of Jonah Hill here with his hood up, manning his own business, having a morning stroll, doing a, going about what he's doing, but he's smoking a cigarette, but he's got a, a, a six. Was that what they say? Um, uh, a sixty-four ounce gallon of reusable water bottle, covered in stickers. Cool, man. Healthy. Lake, uh, like Hill, Shay LaBeouf is also a fashion wild card, the original fashion wild card. In fact, LaBeouf knows a thing or two about vintage tees, night, night kicks that are long out of production, but also he understands the importance of staying hydrated at all the times. So after all, this guy who would literally lug around a gallon like a nighty skate kid, no question asked, keeping there at all times. LaBeouf has now moved to the hydro fast because almost big hills. But most of these people are like, you know, wasn't, wasn't, um, Jonah, wasn't, um, Shayla Buff like a an addict or you know used to be an alcoholic so I guess you have to offset that desire to always pick up a, a a glass of whiskey by having a hydro flask maybe I don't know but or that one reusable bottles don't begin and end at hydro flask however with the plenty of brands coming together with some sweet designs of their own easy friendly canteen and collaboration what Phipps easy friendly canteen in collaboration with clean is one of the biggest sellers while online ceramics Negalin bottle has proved to be popular there's there's a Yeezy bottle. There's a Yeezy um, thingy bottle. Is there really? What is this? What? Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. Um, so, yeah, they've got the Virgil bottle on here. Drop a rainbow. I don't know, man. These things are $28. Um, another one by Silent and Naglin is $30. One that Supreme did. The Hydro Flask is $30 for an 18 ounce. You've got another Naglin plastic one. You've got another Virgil Labo Soma one that's $50. Dot active one, urban bottle, silicon. Some interesting designs. That's the one I'm seeing more popular in my a different workplace I work in. The place I work in now, people carry this one. It's called Swell, a water bottle. $52 at Harvey Nichols. Fucking hell. Insane, isn't it? Water's become big business, isn't it? It's only a matter of time before some big person gets behind it and starts pumping them out. But yeah, that's insane, really. That's insane, isn't it? Look at that. That is the image of a the hypocrisy of nowadays, isn't it? You're smoking cigarettes, yet you're drinking loads of water. Okay, man. Okay, but yeah, I'm not down for it. Not not keen. I think everyone that uses um uh, maybe uh, uh, unless maybe Shayla both looks like he works out. Most people I've seen that drink excessive amounts of water in the day and always are going to the flipping. Um, because back in the day, do you remember back in the day when you could get water, it used to be a chance to gossip. Now people are doing it as like a weird weird virtual signal, and they're going to go get some water and drink that. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Go and work out. Like, run some stairs, do some burpees. Like, the fuck. Anyway, what do I know? What do I know?